promo shots for this second season? Well, what can I tell you? Well, I guess the first question the, the first question I have is that one or the feather. At what point during the um, during the decision to make a season two, did, was it decided that it's going to be uh, three eight minute episodes instead of uh, eleven two minute episodes? It was actually I learned about it somewhat belatedly because I saw the early drafts of the script when all the pages were mashed together, and it was actually right around. I think you may have seen our behind the scenes thing that we uh, released to YouTube this past week. It was right around the first table read that we started talking about maybe having longer form episodes as opposed to little bite-sized episodes. I think it was born of the fact that we felt we had already earned the viewer's attention from season one. But also you'll see the story of this show is more intricate. It's more complicated, there's more cast, there's more twists and turns, so we wanted to give people the opportunity to get a little more invested in the story before an episode expires. But it was it was fairly fluid, and I think that, that through the rewriting process, Cheeks and Jane were still refining the script to reflect that three-panel approach. I think it works. We'll see. How does shooting in this format compare to shooting in sort of the more traditional, you know, 30-minute or one-hour TV episode format? Well, it, for me, it's exactly the same. I mean, uh, the, well, the, the main difference is obviously budget, but in terms of the way I do my job and the way, and you know, relating to actors and talking to a DP and blocking, so it's exactly the same. My goal when I signed on in season one was to make the show look as much like a high-quality network half-hour pilot as possible. Um, no more, no less. So the idea was, let's make it have the, you know, the, you know, groovy camera moves and fast-paced dialogue and good performances and so forth. But I'm not doing a lot of, I'm not trying to draw attention to myself as a director. I'm trying to keep the focus on the words because the show's really funny, and uh, and make the, you know, and create a safe space for the actors to be funny and uh, you know get out of the way. So it, in a lot of ways, it's similar, but budgetarily because we're much much smaller. It just means that a lot more preparatory work needs to be done before we call action. That makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. At what point did you guys say there has to be a season two for this? You know, it was uh, uh, when we saw the. I was astounded by the instant success of season one. I just thought it's a little web show. It's YouTube. Who's going to know? There's a million shows. There's 10 million videos. Who's going to know? You know, like it doesn't have any big name stars in it per se. These are pretty much faces that America was getting to know. Um, so when it made as big a splash as it did, and it got mainstream recognition in the way that it did, like reviewed in The New Yorker, um, the only web series ever reviewed in The New Yorker, that was the moment we started talking about, well, clearly we have our hands around something great, and we need to keep it going. And the fans really lobbied for it. You know, we had a, there was a lot of interest in continuing to learn about what happens to these guys, what happens next, they're young marrieds, what's the next adventure for them? Um, so it was, pr with, I would say, within within a weeks within weeks of the premiere, we started talking about what, what it might be and what what you know how we might do our upgrade for season two. <laughs> what else can I tell you? Um, I and just, you haven't asked me about working with Joss. What about that? Oh yeah, that guy. What's he like? <laughs> Is he a diva? He seems like a diva. He couldn't have been lovelier. Especially because I think we shot his scene like the weekend Avengers opened. Oh, so, oh, wow. dude was a little busy, but he still made time for us. And I gotta say, you know, <laughs> attempting to give direction to a guy who has just directed a billion dollar movie is not at all intimidating. Um, <laughs> but he couldn't have been lovelier. And he's really, you'll see, he's really, really funny in the show. Um, there is one line that he delivers in such a characteristically Joss style that I had to cover my mouth not to laugh all over the track. Like, you've heard actors in his shows say lines like this in this way, deliver a line this way, but to hear the man himself do it, it really made me laugh. 
a very unexpected way of delivering a joke. And I've, you know, I've heard Buffy do it, and I've heard Nathan do it on Firefly, and just to hear Joss himself do it, it was thrilling. What was it like this season having such sort of a deep bench of just uh, guest stars in the show? It uh, it was really fun for me, you know, getting to work with. I, uh, for me, as a director, what's fun is every actor has a slightly different process, and it's you know, every, it's like a different musical instrument, you know. And for me, getting to play with all these different people was really fun. And uh, you'll see, like, we have so many different other flavors, you know. Season one, we had vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and pistachio, you know. And th- it was pretty much four actors all the way through. This time, we have a lot of different people, a lot of different colors, and just a lot of different people to play with. It just made it more fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I had a great time. This is one thing I'll also say. You know, I always, when I go back and watch the old, you know, I, I worked on about 200 episodes of Will and Grace. And when I see the episode, on TV, the thing that really comes across is I think you can see how much fun we had making it, you know? It always reminds me, like, when I bought the first B-52s album, and when you listen to that album, you can hear, it sounds like a party. It sounds like a party on vinyl. And when I watch Will and Grace, it's that way. And when I see Husbands, it's the same way. You can tell we are having a really good time. That everybody likes each other, that we're happy to be there, and we're enjoying ourselves. And I think that joy is infectious, and it's why people have been drawn to the show. Speaking of Will and yes. Grace and even Desperate Housewives, any chance that we can just keep moving forward? Any one of the co-workers showing up? Gosh, let's see. I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule it out. I would not rule it out. I have a long and storied career, and uh, that's all I'm going to say. 